Right. We off to the races. I'm good. I had, I threw the flywheel out of mine last week. You did what? The flywheel, the belt came off. And it's oh, about no the kidding. third or fourth one I've heard. So if you start squeaking, it's the flywheel. The flywheel. The I ain't heard belt, that yet. The belt comes off. And, dude, it tears up your alternator and everything. Hey, you do the same, bro. We got our work cut out. I know. Jeez. This one's not going to be what it's everybody be a, thinks. I know. Think. I don't think so. I mean, I'm, I'm going to do my share of looking, but I don't think so. Yeah. To ledge or not to ledge? That's the question of the week. Good morning, everybody. Lake Chickamauga starts right now, island out. We got to find some bass, always. It's just always the goal. We got to find some. Anyways, I just want to say good morning real quick. Hope y'all have a good one not have a good one. I'll check back in a little bit later. Hopefully with some, with some, with some epic stories. All right, y'all take care. That's how y'all want to eat a frog? Little dude. Eating frogs. Don't be doing that, bro. But he ate it like it was such a small squirrel, so I knew it wasn't a big one. But he ate it the way big ones eat it. Like, big ones don't boosh. It just swirl and your frog be gone. test, the true test. They gotta be two pounds this week. Ah, ah, ah. 207. That's a keeper. All right. Gosh, leave big dog. You smoked that. Oh. I wanna show off. Showing off. I like when they do that. A little popping frog action in the morning. Kick the day off. It don't get much better. What is up, people? Yes, it's that time again. We're back. Back out on the lake for another BPT event, this time Lake Chickamauga. And uh, you can't tell by the time of the day, it's the afternoon that we're shooting this intro. But uh, this week is gonna be about a lot of these right here, these electronics. I've been staring at these for some hours today, trying to find these bad boys. They are not easy to find. They're being a little tough this week, but this is what we do. We figure them out. So had a few bites this morning and some mid-range grass. Now I'm out on the ledges, graphing around, idling, looking for some schools. I'm really hopeful that I can find some of these schools of fish. Um, it makes it a lot more convenient on me 
in this style format where it's catch weight release because you don't have to run around all over the place you can kind of sit on one school and kind of pick them off so this might be the deal this may not be the deal but we're gonna spend some time a lot of time behind these garmin electronics trying to figure them out and we might have to default to the grass fish so it's gonna have to figure it out but i just wanted to check in say what's up kick things off stage four bass pro tour here at lake chickamauga y'all stay tuned for the ride Score. You gotta love them too, though. Actually, on Major League Fishing scale might go because our scales are a little bit that Rapala scale weighs just a little bit light. So getting bit in this general area is a good thing because there's a lot of really big fish that live in here. Chester Frost, that is. I mean, ain't no secret here. Not even a little bit. He was when I was when I was idling I seen that one little blip of grass and it's that it's that hydrilla it's not it's not that pepper grass and I think that's a big big deal and you can find that hydrilla here so I'm gonna go check a few places that had hydrilla before just don't learn I guess more like it post spawn that's a pushing three pound bass skinny but he's that he's in that's where he should be he should be out here thanks bro and I just cannot believe I ain't getting more bites this offshore grass 
I don't think, oh man, I don't think they've committed just yet to the to the ledges out deep, although I'm gonna spend quite a bit of time graphing. But this is a nice in-between stopping point, six to eight foot grass. Surprisingly not hydrilla. I was expecting it to be hydrilla, it's not. But um I don't know. We're gonna need a lot more bites like that. A lot more. Double up on corn. That was it. If I'm gonna do that double yeah. up. Alright. So I'm gonna do just two of these then. Justin Frost is pretty impressive too. Braised pork steak. Damn. Damn, alright. I'm gonna do one each. Dude. Seems wrong. That's where you be learning this stuff, man. You watching the cooking channel? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I am, I, am, I, am, I am the cooking channel, bro. What you mean? This right here, after a long day on the pond. I'm not catching nothing. Make a man feel like he's somebody. You ain't catch nothing? No, I ain't catch nothing. What is that? Was a snap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Snapping turtles. <laughs> Snapping turtles. <laughs> Snapping turtles. That oh. gum is You ain't ate that? I ain't ate yet. I'm about to, though. I like spice, like though. It. You're probably talking about this right here, this pico? No, the, the whole jalapeno right here. Ah. I need some of that too. Makes you try radish on this. Mm-hmm. Braised, braised, braised pork. pork. Oh, Yummy. So like eight hours, and then we got the steak. Oh my steak god, right he said for eight hours? Yeah. I want to make me a pork one. That's how you gotta do it. I'm gonna bust open this right here. Ooh. I'm gonna get this stuff. Wait, watch it. Torch the sugar? Torch the sugar, let it start to melt. Try and let it melt slowly. Get it all nice and even over top. Get a nice little hard crunch on top. That What's this called now? Cream brulee. I don't, I'm not French, obviously. Very Irish. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Yeah. Great job, Brody. First of all, it's real mayonnaise and not Miracle Whip. Let's start off there. Secondly, we got to reel in some bass. They're trying to be, they're trying to be all tough on the pond on your boy, man. But we talking about practice, you know. So I don't know. We're gonna see, man. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting event. Uh, we put a long day in yesterday. I mean, a long. I didn't get off the water till nine, and um, they're not on a lot of places that they usually get on for me. So. That means we gotta idle more, check new places. So that means uh, a lot more time staring at them garments. But we're gonna figure something out. We got to. We're gonna figure something out. Got to. <clears throat> Man, trying to get suited up. Got some rain last night. So, gotta make sure we stay dry in the boat. I don't like wearing rain gear if I don't have to, but I do not like getting a wet butt, so. Throw the gear on, make sure we got our jacket kill switch attached, good to go. Trying to get her wet, see if we can't reel her something in.
Ooh, that coffee a little strong this morning. Good boys. The ones that J-Dub throw? Yeah. You want me to hop in? Or Brett, you got it or what? Uh, what I'm probably going to do, probably do what Shannon was doing. I need to, I want to oh, jump him get, back and up. Yeah, I got you. Let me get out y'all's way so y'all can get to work. Get to work. No, sir. You put it on these rocks. Right. <laughs> I ain't messing with that. Well, you put it right there. Where? Over there? It don't matter. Dump me in. I'll put it over. We all gotta get in no matter what. Uh, driving or you need no, I'm just gonna get like trailer lower stuff. trailer backing yeah. in water. I'm gonna dump you in, DC. Oh, that drip, that drip. Right, I, I, I get the Triton going on the trailer a little bit. Well, I, mean, I know it, it, it blew, it, it blew like, off. All yeah. Off. Right. So it ain't no big deal. We're all stars in this game. Absolutely. You should, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm making talk Chinese during that part. <laughs> Say no, hey, ha. Huh? Yeah, I'll make a dime. All right, I'm going to dump y'all in. Turn off until about 10, and then it's going to go to 50% all day. So bombed out. Coming in high. They're not grouped up the way that I really want to see them grouped up. They're not pulling any current. It makes it really difficult to get these fish to bite. And then they don't want to stay grouped up, so there's no competition. It really just makes it tough overall. But uh, I want to pull up on a few of these places. I am graphing a few fish. I'm seeing some down there, so I want to see if I can get them to bite or not, which thus far, they ain't been liking it. So these are all the things that you know, I gotta factor in that's gonna make a decision for me if I'm a fish deep or shallow. But shallow fish, they don't need current. They're more, they're more individual fish. You know, one here, one there type of deal. Um, they're more uh, opportunistic. These fish out here are real competitive driven. So, you know, they sitting down there with 20 other bass. Here come a worm. They gonna jump on it because if they don't their buddy's gonna get it. And that's the whole deal with the current, helps group them up. And that's what's not going down this morning. But we still trying to make a bite, got to. Cause on game day, it's not gonna be much current either. So what you gonna do? The grass bite is a much more of a grind, you know, cause you can't just roll up, boom, and start catching. You gotta fish the grass figure out exactly where they're sitting in the grass. That takes time. That's, that's, that's tough. That's a tougher fishing day. This deal, you get them loaded up on the spot, you pull up, you're making the same throw. Boom, boom, boom. So you're gonna have guys, they have some schools that, that actually wanna play. And, um, and then I feel like the rest of the guys, more or less, you know, we'll be fishing for a lot of them grass fish, and it's just a tougher, grindier bite, man. And I'll be honest with you, I'd much rather, I'd much rather be out here doing this deal. Well, I threw right near one. Oh, he like he gonna bite it too.
to score or not to score. He'll score, I can look at this too. I don't know. They're tricky sometimes. So that's two and a half pounder, 244, 249, something like that. As they're blowing up right there. Alright. Let's go. Hey, fun in the, in the, in the sun. Without the sun. Well, it's straight bombing on us. God, please. Won't give us a break. This whole boat is wet. Everything in the boat is wet. My toes is wet. <laughs> I ain't want them wet. He's all the way out here on the, on the end of it. One seventy four. But the one thing I like, I like the fact that I am getting bit. And I have caught giants here on this lake on boat docks. So confidence will be high on game day if I need to come skip docks. I mean, you ain't got one skip away from an eight pounder out here on six. Literally. And it's starting to become, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. I mean, there's so much uh, pressure now offshore so much it's, it's it's unbelievable and i love fishing offshore i'm kind of new to the game about three years four years in to where i felt comfortable doing it but already the bank is starting to transition back into what it once was because everybody got graphs everybody has good mapping and these fish can't hide and so they get pressure day in and day out and you just got to do something different sometimes talking about that uh you heard us talking about that bullet boat i was just admiring that old clean bullet boat right there then i threw up next to the dock dupe i mean i'm gonna guess this is a two pounder but they've been making me a liar this week hey on the nose, 196. He'll be he'll be two pounds. There it oh, is. There it is. Two pounds. Yeah, he'll be two pounds on on the MLF scale. So he's weigh a little bit light. Golly, man, that's a fat dude. But yet only two pounds. It's hard to get. You can't even get excited, really. You just got. A, you barely caught a keeper. Barely. Back, he wasn't trying to get it back. I need that back though. Very close. One eighty five. Close, man. Right, guys practice is coming to an end I'm really confused right now going into the tournament um, I got off day I'm in group B this week so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do do a lot of thinking 
I really pushed hard today on the offshore bike. Caught a few doing that. Um, and then a lot of the places that they usually get, they're not there quite just yet. So don't get me wrong, they're gonna get caught offshore. Guys are gonna definitely catch them offshore. Um, I think I'm gonna even, fish that I catch will likely be offshore now. On the ledges and that whole deal, I don't know. Um, I'll likely be fishing grass from what I've seen thus far. So we still got a couple hours left, but I just wanted to touch base and kind of wrap up this video. But so far, pretty tough. But it's Lake Chickamauga, lots of big fish. You guys know what to expect. So hopefully I'll run into a, a load of them. That'd be real nice. So I will be gunning, gunning for them, no, no doubt. So I'm gonna spend a little more time graphing around. And um, yeah, man, you guys will check this video out. Hopefully uh, in the actual tournament vlog, there'll be a lot of, a lot of this, a lot of leaning. So. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing and watching and following and the whole nine yards. I appreciate it. Make sure you drop a comment as always. We'll see you guys from the tournament vlog. See you.